If you are looking for a method to create a sterling silver shiny font, you are in the right place. We are going to create a silver foil effect that will show the light dancing off your font and will bring your image to life. So let's not waste any time, let's jump into Canva and I will show you how to do this. Right, so coming over to canva.com, we can use any template that works for you for the purpose of your design. I'm just going to start with a square logo design for now. First step is to go over to text, add a text box, and type in the text that you are wanting to turn to silver. Let's go for silver bells. Okay, we're just having it nice and large now for the purpose of illustrating it with the silver. You choose the font that you want. This can't be changed later. So you're wanting to make sure you've got everything written and in the correct font at this stage. Next step, you are going to be going over to elements and adding in a rectangle. It doesn't matter what color it is, but you are wanting something quite bright and bold at this point. So let's just make it a nice purple and then we're going to send that to back. So I'm going over to position and to back. Now this is slightly too large. You can see that it's hanging over the edge. So I'm just going to adjust the size of the font down so that it sits neatly inside the rectangle. Okay, the next step is to make sure that that is highlighted and we need to have this as a white font. So you've now got a white font inside a colored rectangle. The rectangle does not touch the edges. You've got white around the edges. That's really important. So then we're going to go over to share, download, use the slider to make it a larger file and it's a PNG. We're going to click download. That's going to go over to your download folder and then we're going to add page down to uploads and we're going to upload files and make sure that that is selected. We can make this a bit bigger. If it's convenient, you can crop in the sides so that it's easier to work with. We're going to click on this now and we are going to go over to background remover. This is a premium feature. If you don't have Canva premium, this can still be done. Check out the description below underneath the like button. You will see a link to an alternate website that will help you remove the background from your image. And then you can just go to upload and upload it back in. Our next step is to go over to elements. And now this is a fun bit because we get to look for a silver item. And then we are going to be looking for a high contrast silver image. Okay, so you've got a choice of graphics or photos and you can do that. Now, you can use this image just as it is. That would be a very simple, quick solution. What I'm wanting though, is I'm finding that this straight up and down play of light is just a bit flat. So I'm going to just twist it slightly off center so that it is at an angle. And, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it and send it back. Now you start to get an idea of how it's going to read in your font. So you can then move it around to a place where you are happy with it. Now you can move straight along to the next step if you need to, but I like to just make sure that my image is high contrast. But if you would like to just add in a little detail, you can come over to edit and then adjust. And I'm just going to pull up the contrast slightly and the brightness to add that little bit more interest to it. You've got to be careful with silver because it can get a little flat. So that's why the contrast is really useful. Because we've added this at an angle, we are going to just crop it in as much as we can without compromising on it reading through the text. Okay, so there it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the rectangle shape and this Rear, this is very important. It needs to go in as the same color as this outline here. So make sure that color matches. Now I'm going to just fill in over the, the white gaps. I can come over to duplicate here. The keyboard shortcut for that is control C. And I'm going to duplicate again and resize it so that it is covering all the edges. And then duplicate again. Okay, so what we've got now is you can see that we have covered all the edges. There's no more white left. Next step is to go over to share, download, and we are now going to download this page. Make sure page two is selected. PNG file, pull up the file size, do nice and big, and download. 
that is going to go back to your download folder, down to add page, upload, upload file, select it and bring that in. Okay. Now a nice quick and easy step is we are going to go over to background remover. Remember if you don't have the premium subscription, there is that link for that down below. This is looking great already. Now it's obviously not so good on white. So we're just going to change the background for the purpose of the video. Let's get a nice burgundy color. Super. Okay. Now your job could be done right here. If you, if that's all you need, you are welcome to move along. If you are looking for just a final flourish, just to make it pop a little bit more, we are going to go over to elements and we are going to type in sparkle and graphics and now you are just looking for something that is going to help you shine this a little bit bright i'm going to turn this to an angle and i'm now looking for my kind of high the highlights where where the light is turning to almost white so there you have a really beautiful shiny sterling silver font using Canva. You can either delete the background there or you can keep the background there if you are wanting it. So I'm going to download there, make sure it's a PNG file, make it nice and large. If you have the premium feature, you can download it with a transparent background. If not, you download it without and then you can go back over to that link below the like button and upload it to the other website where you can remove the background. This is going to go to your download folder now, so it's going to then be downloaded and you can simply remove the background to apply it wherever you need. Happy sparkling! I hope you've enjoyed this foil effect tutorial. If you are looking for the next step to level up, you will want to know how to create your 2D logo and convert it into a 3D logo. So check out this video here that teaches you in another simple step-by-step -step tutorial using Canva of how to do that.